Report. Meantime, a drainage project is causing a bit of a stir in the community of Rockport. Last Tuesday, the City Council approved the condemnation of an underground easement in Veterans Memorial Park. Residents and business owners are concerned the new project will drive polluted stormwater directly into the harbor. Our Lydia Herrera is in the studio now to tell us more. Lydia? That's right, Leslie and Rudy. I spoke with several locals, including a member of the Stormwater Management Committee, that says this project will have a big impact on the environment. But there is an alternate solution if the city is willing to consider it. 160 acres of untreated stormwater is a big deal and it will affect the harbor with sediment and trash. Navigation the District the Commissioner Tommy Moore says the future of the harbor is at stake with a new drainage project that will carry pollution into the water. The city comes up with a plan that has absolutely no stormwater pollution prevention, none whatsoever. City Manager Vanessa Schreiner says the project will help with flooding in the area by slowing down the flow of stormwater into the harbor. So it's the same water, the same amount of water, just a different delivery method. So there's no new pollution or a water stream or area that will be draining into what we're proposing. Owner of Tommy's Bait and More Shop, Tom Connery says he sees the pollution firsthand on the harbor and he's worried the new untreated drainage will make things worse and turn people away from the area. There's, there's too much pollution in here as, as, as is right now, you know, and an ongoing, especially after a bad rain. And uh, it's horrible and uh, it's just trash everywhere. Shriner says the project is important to the area and has to be completed. 280 structures that are at risk for flooding right now. When we when we complete that line, then um, hopefully we'll reduce that risk on those structures. Moore believes if the community and city work together, they will find another solution. There are systems, one of them is, is installed in Aransas County down by Bahia Bay that will filter this much water and multiples can filter even more water. So there's some solutions, they're pretty cost effective. We think there's some resources out there that will help us get this paid for and uh, we're just gonna ask the city to you know work with us and let's move forward. According to Steiner, the Navigation District and the city are working together to come to an agreement about the new project. Both parties will be meeting again next month. We'll keep you updated. Leslie.